Welcome to this demo of Kocha software. Kocha is designed to be as easy to use as possible. And in this demo, we will be showing you each of the different sections and how to use them. So let's get on with the demo. When you first log into Kocha from the login page, you'll be presented with the dashboard. This is the area where you can use the quick buttons to do common tasks, where you can see the club notice board, and where you can see today's registers. But let's look at the layout of Kocha. On the left, you have the navigation for all of the different sections in Kocha. Below this, you can see your how-to guides and a link to the support center. Support can also be reached from the little tag in the bottom right hand corner. At the top, you can see your club name. Then we have club settings, your profile, and the logout button, and notifications. This is the basic layout of Coacher. If you need to find something, either use the quick buttons at the top of the page, or go into the relevant section. Under dashboard, you'll find several different sections. We have the club notice board, which you can see on the dashboard here, and your club settings. Club settings can also be accessed from the little cog up next to your profile in the top right hand corner. The dashboard has four tabs along the top. Each of these link out to common tasks that most coacher admins need to do. You can view your members and see who's joined the club in the pending members section. You can create a new class or go to registers. You can go to your money section or create a new payment and you can view previous broadcasts or send a new one. Below this, we see the club notice board. This can also be accessed via the club notice board button in the navigation. The club notice board allows you to put notes onto the club dashboard for both members, coaches and yourself. You'll see some of the notes are marked as note for coach and others are marked as note for everyone. If a member logs in, they'll see all of the notes for everyone, but they won't see any of the notes for coaches. They are purely for your staff. Four notes will be presented on the dashboard. To view more notes, click on View All Notes. And here we can see all of the notes been, that have been added to the club. You can cre create a new note very easily by clicking Create a New Club Note. Mark it for who you want it to be for, and then fill in the information and hit add note. When you're finished, head back to the dashboard. This area can also be accessed from the navigation on the left. We also have club settings. And in this area, you will see the information about your club, including your club logo, if you want to upload that. We can see the subscription payments made to Coacher for Coacher software. Here in the next tab, we see your club signup form. This form can be used to send out to potential customers, or it can be a link on your website. Here is the link for this club signup form. You can allow members to set their own passwords so that they can log in and see things like your club timetable, their own data, and any payments that they have made to your club. You can also add a payment fee, such as a joining fee, to your signup process. To do this, click Enable Payment Fee. This will use GoCardless to set up a payment and a mandate when someone tries to join your club. Below that, we have additional fields. And in here, you can add new fields to your club signup form and to your member accounts. This could be things like a gymnastics club membership number or British gymnastics number. Finally, we have the terms and conditions for your club. Here, you can upload things like waiver documents, photographic waivers, and things of that nature. Each document will appear on the club signup form and the member will have to tick if they accept or not the terms. If this is a mandatory process, you can flick mandatory on on the document. Once you've finished setting up your form, click save. In the next tab, we have club documents. This can be thought of like a Dropbox where you store the club documents that may be relevant to the running of your club. This makes it easy for you to find the documents if you need to. 
Things like license information, insurance, and rental agreements can all be stored here. Finally, in club settings, you can manage the notifications that you receive from Coacher when various tasks are, occur. Let's say a new pending member arrives, someone who has filled your form in. You'll be informed of that. If you don't want to be, just click that off and always click save. Coacher software is focused on members. It is your members who pay you, attend classes, and who you need to contact through broadcasts. So they sit right at the heart of the Coacher system. To access your member list, you can either use the quick button on the dashboard, or you can go into your members under people. Here, you will see all of the members in your club, and you can search by name, member group, or status. You can also rearrange your member list by first or last name. The member list is arranged so that you can see the image of the individual, the telephone number, and the email address without needing to go into their profile. This is very handy if you just need to find a phone number for someone. At the top, we also have pending members. These are people who have filled in your club form and now need to be confirmed as genuine to enter the club. To accept members into the club, you can click the tick icon or you can allow all pending members. Finally, the next tab is your coaches and admins. Here is where you can control all of your coaches and the access that, that they have in Coacher. When I click into a profile, under permissions, you can say whether the, this individual is an admin, a full coach, or what we call Coach Limited. Coach Limited will limit the amount of information this coach sees to only the people who are in classes for which they are responsible. When you've made your changes, hit Save Coach. When we look at a member profile, we see that there is a huge amount of information that we can hold on an individual. Their basic information is always present at the top of the screen. First name, last name, date of birth and age, telephone number, mobile and email. If for any reason they haven't set a login up, you can allow login by clicking the allow login button. Below this main section of information, there are a series of tabs of more information. In the important info tab, we have the member's address and also any emergency or next of kin contact information. We also have the member groups for your club. We can go into this shortly. Under additional info, we will see any information that has been added to the form that you have customized. So if, for instance, you added a custom field to the form for British Gymnastics number, that will appear in additional information. Next, we have notes where you can input medical information about the member so that coaches are fully aware of any in injuries or illnesses that the member may be carrying. We also have coaches notes and this is an area where you can add notes about the member's performance or anything that other coaches may need to know. Please note that any notes you put in here will be accessed, accessible by the parent should they make a subject access request. The only exception to this is what we call safeguarding notes. These notes are only accessible to the admin and they're relevant to things like child protection. Next, we have classes and attendance, and in here you'll be able to see the attendance record of this particular member. You'll see which classes they have been added to and how well they have attended the school between two date ranges. The next tab shows us payments and any payments that this member has made to the club. Then we have notifications and alerts. Here, you're able to set up a reminder for this specific member on a specific date, in a number of days, or after they have attended a certain number of classes. This is very useful should you want to reward a member after a certain amount of attendance. The final tab is on data and documents. In this section, you can upload a document to the member profile, such as a certificate, and you can also see what they have agreed to under data protection. If you would like to import or export your members, you can do so using the import or export function. Click on in import or export, and here you will see a step one to download a blank spreadsheet or download your current members, and a step two 
to re-upload that spreadsheet. When uploading a new spreadsheet, make sure every column is in the right place and it is exactly the same as the one you have downloaded from Coacher. This will avoid any errors in uploading your members. If you want to add a member individually, you can do so using add a member. This will give you a blank profile and you can work your way through setting up the information. You can also use send your club sign up form. This will give you a small form which you can fill basic information into and then hit send information request. This will go out to the email address that you fill in here and that individual can then fill in their form when they get home. You can also ask all of your members to set their logins once you've imported them and you can do that using the set member logins button. Once you click this, if you leave it send to everyone, everyone that you have just imported into your club will be sent a request to set up a login for the system. If you don't want to send it to everyone, you can deselect this and then start to select individuals in member groups and classes. Member groups are a way of arranging your club. They're completely separate to classes and registers and they enable you to group people in your club into specific groups. A good example of this is a martial arts club where you may want to group people by belt level. In the member groups, you would have all of the different belts and then you would add members to those member groups. To add someone to a member group, simply go to their profile and then click on the member group that they need to be added to. Hit save member and this will save them into that member group. Once you've got all of your members into Coacher, you can begin starting to set up your classes. Registers are automatically generated from the classes that you create. Click on classes and registers and then go to new class or event. You can also set up a virtual class if you're running one through Zoom or through Facebook Live. When creating a new class, you can enter basic information, make the class recurring and even make it bookable. And when you do this, you can add the maximum number of people that will be able to attend the class. Once you've filled all your information in, you can add members. This allows you to add all of the people who will be expected to attend that class. For instance, if you have an advanced class and only a select number of members are gonna be joining, then you can select just those members and deselect the others. If everyone is invited, simply click Add All. To remove people from the class, go to the summary and just click on their name. Once you're finished, hit save and that class has been created. Under your classes, you'll be able to see all of the classes that you've created for the club and who is going to be teaching them and when. You can delete these classes or edit them from this section. Attendance registers are automatically generated from your classes. So when we go to attendance registers, you'll see all of the registers that are available and automatically created for the coming week. This view will default to today. To go to the register, hit go to register. Then you'll be able to add people as they arrive in your class. At the bottom of the page or on the right hand side, you will see a summary of the class with all of the people who are in attendance, the time and the date, and who is coaching. You don't need to save attendance registers. They automatically sync with Coacher just in case you ever forget to hit save. If you need to add a guest to a class, you can do so by hitting add guest. This will allow you to quickly add someone or add a new existing member who may have been promoted. You can also lock registers. This is very useful if you have an iPad at the front of your gym or academy and you don't want people to be able to access the rest of Coacher. So when I hit lock register, all of the navigation for Coacher disappears and only the register is left. Here, now people arriving at your club can add or remove themselves from the class. To unlock the register, click unlock register and put your password in. Once you've set up your people and classes, You'll want to be paid for your instruction. This is where the money section of Coacher comes in. 
If you go to money on the left and then money dashboard, or if you go to your money using the top navigation in the dashboard, it will take you to the money section. Here, once again, we have quick action buttons at the top to do the major tasks. We also have a cash payment or cash tin where you can quickly record cash payments. And we have a full history of all the payments made to the club. This is where you can control everything you need to do to take subscriptions, one-off payments, or cash. Coacher has partnered with GoCardless for direct debit payments and Stripe for card payments. To connect yourself to a Stripe or GoCardless account, go to settings. In here, you can connect to an existing GoCardless account if you already have one, or Coacher can set up a GoCardless account for you. You can also connect yourself to a Stripe account or get Coacher to do it. GoCardless uses the direct debit service to take payments and Stripe will require a card. Both can be used for recurring payments or one-off payments. Once you've set up your Stripe and GoCardless account, you can create plans. These are payment schedules that you can use to receive money on a monthly, yearly or other basis. To create a new plan, use the tab on the right hand side, select which service you would like the plan to connect to, name the plan, explain the frequency of the plan and the amount to take. When you hit create this plan, Coacher will set this plan up with GoCardless or Stripe and then you will be able to ask your members to pay that amount. These two steps, setting up and connecting to GoCardless or Stripe and creating your payment plans are important first steps when looking at your money they will allow you to start to receive payments from your members. So if we go back to the money dashboard, here you can also record cash payments, something that we call the cash tin. This is useful to do so that when you export your finances, your cash payments will be represented accurately. So I can search for a member name, I can add a payment date and a reference, add the amount and then hit record. You can see that the payment was successfully recorded and if we scroll down you can now see that the payment is present in the all payments list. In this list at the bottom of the page you will see your full payment history. There are multiple tabs, all payments, subscriptions, one-off payments and cash tin. There are also different statuses and these are most relevant to subscriptions and card payments. You can search for any payment under any name and between any time frame using the search bar at the top. To set up a new subscription or one-off payment, you can use the quick buttons at the top or under money, you can click on new payment. Here you will see two tabs, new subscription or new one-off payment. Under new subscription, you can set a subscription for a specific member. Select the service that you want the subscription to use, select the member name and click add, or you can add everybody in a class or everyone in a member group, or indeed, send to everyone in the club. Select the subscription plan that you would like this person to join, and then you can click send a request. This will send an email to that individual member asking them to set the payment up. They will have a link and a unique reference code, and this will then take them back to Coacher to set the payment up. You can also take the payment if the member is in front of you by, pay, by clicking pay now and this will allow you to set the payment up there and then. In this section, you can also quickly record cash payments. You can also export your club finances using the export finances button. This will export all of the finances that have been paid into the club. You can adjust the time frame by adjusting the time in your search at the bottom. This is very useful if you're exporting your club finances for another piece of software like QuickBooks or Xero. From time to time, you may need to send your members broadcasts, such as emails or SMS text messages. Coacher can help you. Simply click on the broadcast section or use the quick button at the top of the page. Here, you click send broadcast. And from this point, you're able to manage who you send the broadcast to and how. Email broadcast is highlighted as standard, but you can just send an SMS or send both. Let's say I want to send an email. You're never charged for sending email broadcasts out of Coacher. 
so you can send as many as you need to. Enter a subject line and the body of your email. Explain whether this is a marketing email or not. If you click this on, then members who have explicitly denied marketing email access will not be sent the message. If it is a message about club times or training, anything like that, it is not a marketing email and should go to everybody. However, if you're sending something, selling a service or goods, then it may be classed as marketing. You can attach a file to your messages. This will be a PDF, JPEG or PNG and needs to be under seven megabytes. When you attach your file, it will only be sent via email. It cannot be sent via SMS. Click add receivers to say who you want this email message to go to. You can send to the entire club or you can select everyone from a specific class or member group or you can add individuals. If I add everybody from a class and a member group, you will see on the right hand side who has been added to the broadcast. When you're ready, you can click review and send. If for any reason you want to include all of the next of kin's and emergency contacts on the message, click this on here. Once you've sent the message, you'll be able to see it in broadcast history. It will tell you how many people received the message, how many failures there were, and the total amount of messages sent. To send SMS messages, you will need to integrate with Text Local. We have partners partnered with Text Local to send SMS through Coacher. You will need to buy credits with Text Local, and this is a very simple thing to do. Coacher will tell you how many credits you have left after you have sent broadcasts. You can always buy more credits using the Get More Credits at Text Local button. Broadcasts sent from Coacher adhere to NSPCC Child Protection in Sport guidelines. This means that if a member is of a certain age, they will not receive the message and instead their next of kin will. These guidelines are put in place to ensure that no abuse can occur through messaging and we have designed the system with these strict parameters in mind. So you can always be sure that your messaging service is safe and no one is abusing it. Sometimes you want to look at how your club is performing. Here you can use the statistics and report section. When you go into this section, you can see at a glance how many club members you have, how many new members have arrived in the last month, and how many lapsed members there are. These are members who have not attended the club for the last 30 days. As we scroll down the page, you can also see how the club is performing financially. Select a date range, and then you will be able to see the amount of income into the club, the amount of subscriptions, one-off payments, and cash payments made, and you'll be able to see how much money has come in via the Stripe or GoCardless service. You'll also see, be able to see the most popular subscriptions that you have. Further down the page, we see the attendance stats. Again, you can filter by the different dates or by the quick time periods shown here. You can see who has attended what classes, which member groups are attending the club the most, and what we call star members. These are the members who have attended the most classes in the time period that you have defined. Finally, we can see how your club is split in terms of age, the number of active members in your club, and the number of members in each member group. The stats and reports can be exported using the export buttons at the top of the page. You can export your club finances and your club members. Thank you for joining me on this brief demo of Coacher Software. You will find many different new and advanced features as you dig your way through, but we have designed this software to be as easy to use as possible. Remember, first thing to do is add your people. Then you can start to think about sending out payment requests, login requests, setting up classes and sending broadcasts. As with all software, it is only as good as the amount of information that you put into it. And the first step getting your members in will put you in a great position 
to start using all of the other features of Coacher. Coacher's support staff are more than happy to help you get your members into the system. And if you struggle with importing, don't hesitate to contact us at team at coacher.co.uk. We hope you enjoy Coacher and we hope that it makes life much easier for you.